what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today you can see we're rocking the C9 Pack Sun merch. One, because I actually think it's pretty dope and I'm really, really excited to have it. Um, but two, we're also talking about Cloud9 today. Today the story is mostly going to be centered around Fudge uh, and some good news for him. But we also have some other updates and some other Cloud9 related stories to talk about. Now, obviously last week we had a little like mini series about Cloud9, all the different bad news going on for them, really three different stories. But when you put them all together, it kind of ends up being one bigger, horrible story and situation for C9 leading into the summer split after what was overall a pretty exciting offseason for them where they made some pretty big pickups. Um, but obviously, when if we're just talking about Fudge, the news for him was that he had COVID. He was sick. He was stuck in Korea. We didn't know when he was going to be able to travel back, when he was going to test negative, when he was going to start feeling better, whatever the heck was going on. Uh, and then ultimately, we didn't know if that was going to lead into him potentially missing some summer split games or some summer split practice or, or scrims or whatever. Um, but today, we got this news. Okay, so I forgot to set my scene. One second. <laughs> um, so today, we got this news. This was from C9 Fudge, obviously Fudge Cakey on Twitter. He said, I get on my flight back to LA in two hours. I'm so excited to play some Champions Q, uh, and he tweeted this out at the time that I'm recording this like four hours ago, so he should be in the plane over uh, to Los Angeles right now. I don't know exactly how long that flight is. I've never really flown um, across the ocean like that before. I've really only left the United States a couple times, and it's just to, to stay pretty close mostly, but um, yeah, so he's on his way back. We'll have to see how, how that goes, how long that takes, when he's able to get back, all that stuff, um, but it does seem like, obviously, he is able to leave Korea. He's able to come back to the United States. This is awesome. This means... Um, um, this doesn't guarantee that he'll be ready to go for week one of the LCS split, which obviously starts this weekend. Um, it's like five days away or six days away or four days away, something like that. I believe it starts on Saturday, um, but it might start on Friday. There's super weeks every, every once in a while. I'm not exactly sure if it starts on Friday or Saturday this week, but... Um, but it doesn't mean he'll be able to necessarily be ready to go for week one. Maybe they'll play him on, on just a couple of days of scrims. Maybe not. Um, I don't, and we don't know if he needs to quarantine or how exactly it works or whatever when you come back to the United States. But uh, we do know that he will be ready to go before too long. And that is ultimately good to hear at the end of the day. So that's one thing out of the way. But the other thing was he decided uh, we don't go on Instagram very much on this channel. We've definitely done it a couple times. But um, this is obviously C9 Fudge on Instagram because he decided to do an AMA while waiting at the airport and this actually has some very very interesting answers and insights that I wanted to go over as well so let's take a look at some of the things he was saying you know he says flying back to LA in two hours let's fucking go that type that's exciting um he says I'm so bored ask me a question then people start asking him questions is it true you're five one he says POV when you talk to me he's actually really tall I don't know exactly how tall um but uh you know Sven is like super tall like six five six six something like that Fudge isn't quite that tall but Fudge is one of the taller uh, players in the LCS but then somebody asked him this, does this mean that you're starting summer or will you still need to quarantine? He says, hoping I can play the first game, but I would only have about four days of scrim. So that does mean it doesn't seem like he should have to, you know, quarantine or do too much stuff once he gets back. Because obviously four days of scrims, that means he's probably going to be scrimming this week. Because again, it starts this weekend. Um, so he should be able to get back in the United States. He should be fine. He's going to be jet lagged. He's going to be on weird time zone, all that stuff. Who knows how his sleep schedule is going to be or how he's going to be feeling. Um, but it does sound like he'll get back with the team. He'll start scrimming right away. And, uh, he's going to be playing week one. If he gets there and has four days of scrims, they're going to play him week one. And he's hoping to play for the first game. So it sounds like Fudge should be ready to go. Obviously, then Darshan will slot back into the academy team. And then Alorum will probably just be released or whatever. Uh, you know, just kind of get paid for the short little stint that they needed him for. Uh, and I'm sure they're very, very appreciative that he was obviously able to willing and able to step in for their academy team. Uh, but then we still have some more stuff. Um, somebody asked, any update on Berserker? And he just says, ha, 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 ha. That doesn't sound great. Obviously, when we asked about the update about him, he's has good news. Hey, I'm, I'm coming back soon. Uh, get like four days of scrims. Hopefully, I'll be able to play. He doesn't say anything like that for Berserker. So that is obviously not such a great sign. It's not, not a real answer, but um, it doesn't sound great right off the riff, at least. Um, somebody, I guess, are asking him, how does Milan po pull so many hoes with his game? I don't know who that is. Um, I, don't know, I don't know if that's tenacity or what. Somebody asked him, favorite food in Korea? Um, songs, any women? He says his fave girlfriend right here. You know, just fun, just adding to the personality and stuff. Obviously, he's like C9's franchise player, really popular. People like him, think he's fun. Funny, funny personality, all that stuff. 
Uh, what was the most fun memory in Korea? Nemesis, Malice. I don't know who this uh, girl is, but uh, apparently that was his favorite memory in Korea. Uh, somebody asked him if Top is weak this patch, and he says it's actually good right now. I do think that this is overall a good sign for Fudge on Cloud9. Now, uh, remember, we've seen Fudge for two splits as an LCS top laner. In his first split, it was a disaster. You know, he was one of the worst top laners in the LCS. Maybe not by the end of the split, but um, during the lock-in tournament, during the early to mid split, uh, he was like 8th, ninth, 7th, somewhere in there uh, as far as LCS top laners went. And he was still young. He was like 19 years old or something like that. He had a bright future. He was still, you know, kind of ramping up and leveling up. But um, it was really rough. But then come MSI, come summer split, he got going really, really quickly. Ultimately, by the end of Summer Split, uh, and, and by the time like Worlds came around, he was probably the best top laner in the LCS, for sure top three, probably top two, and maybe top one. And uh, part of his strength was his insane champ pool. You know, he was popping off on stuff like Lee Sin. You know, he's really been able to play everything. He's played some Victor top, which obviously helped him go into mid lane. He's got all the normal picks like the Nars and, and Jace and everything like that. Um, and, and he was a, a good weak side top laner, good tank player, but he was a good carry player as well. And he could really have an impact on matches. So top lane being strong, I think overall is going to be really, really good for C9. Obviously, we know Berserker um, likes to play a little bit more passive style through the early game and who knows what what the, the bot lane of Berserker and Sven is going to look like once they ultimately get here. Um, but C9's probably going to be leaning more towards top lane, carrying into the early mid game and trying to get Berserker there to the late game to pop off, which I think will be a really effective strategy on the durability patch. But this will be interesting to see, um, you know, how, how uh, easily Fudge is able to transition back to the top lane and how good he's going to be at the beginning of the split, how he's going to be at the end of the split. But overall, if he thinks top is good right now, I think that's a good sign for Cloud9. Uh, and then here is another big one. Somebody said, is there any chance Sven might not start because of the green card problem? And Fudge says that it's possible that him and Berserker are a bit late. So obviously he laughed at the Berserker question earlier, and now he's giving us this update. Um, obviously coming from a guy very, very connected to C9. You know, this isn't just coming from me looking at Twitter or Reddit or solo queue or whatever. But at least at this time, it seems like Sven is still stuck in Europe. Berserker is still stuck in Korea, uh, and we aren't quite sure when either of them is going to be back. Again, if I had to guess, I would assume Sven is going to be back first. He has been doing the green card process and been doing the visa process and all this stuff. Obviously, he had some hiccups with the U.S. Embassy, losing some stuff and all those issues. Um, but Berserker's stuff is is much newer and, and much more recent. So I would I would hope Sven would be back sometime within the first couple of weeks of the season. It, it sounds like for Berserker, he might not be back to like the third or fourth week of the season. Um, but again, Fudge is kind of confirming that, yes, it is possible that both of these guys could be late. Um, so it's looking more and more like opening day C9 uh, lineup is going to be Fudge, Blabber, Jensen uh, with King and Destiny as the bot lane. Obviously, Sven slotting in when he eventually gets here. And then Berserker probably going to be the last one here. Um, so who knows exactly how, how C9 is going to start right off the bat. And ultimately, it's not going to really matter if they start winning or losing games off the bat. At least they have that whole top side that's going to be able to play together. It's going to depend how does Fudge look individually? How does Jensen look individually? How is Jensen and Blabber playing together? Those are going to be the things we grade uh, C9 off of, especially at the beginning of the season, uh, and we'll have to see how that stuff goes. But just wanted to get all of this uh, latest C9 updates out to you guys. Fudge is okay. He's feeling good. He's coming back. Sven and Berserker, we still don't know, but at least we got some good news for the Fudge Factor. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think uh, about Fudge. Obviously, he should be ready to go for week one. How do you think he's going to do switching back to the top lane? You think he's going to be one of the better top laners in the league? You think he's going to struggle? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to Hip Today and all my latest content. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. But until then.